Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we wrestle with the concept nature. It's too vast for our small brains to understand. We dissect it a bit and say we are interested in the reproductive part of nature. But what is rain? What is earth? I don't know. Anyway, this apple tree still has a flag on it. This is where we used to add all sorts of scents to mask the scent of the apple tree to prevent the deer from eating it. But we haven't had deer eating these plants for two months. I thought this is the driest part and this is the time they will come. But I have been out for two months before that, between three, four and five in the morning, staring them in the face and ask him, what the hell are you doing? So maybe that is now their response, now they ignore me. I don't know if I can take all these flags off. They look a little bit weird and uh, hopefully these trees will recover. Also we have the dogs now and I have a special way of letting them loose during the night. Here I have Luna and Max, brother and sister. Luna is the female and uh, the saying is that you should never get two dogs from the same litter because they are inseparable and I make use of that natural instinct. Here I have the two border collies, Fus with the brown feet and sky because he's always somewhere in his instinct getting through or over a fence. These are the rubbish bins, their favorite toys. They roll them for hours a day. So what I do is I have cages like this Obviously, there's no rain right now. And one, oh, these two border collies are also uh, family, two brothers. So I put one in here and I put one of the other litter in another one. And this is the dog run. I leave the gate open. So the dominant one of each pack, they are free at night and the other ones are in their cages. So this is my way of making sure that they don't go too far at night. They feel the attachment to their sibling. And uh, so Max and Fus, they are the dominant ones as well of each of these two sets of siblings. They roam at night, but they always come back looking for their brother or sister. They are also then chasing the deer, and it's working well for us. I can sleep at night, and they can work at night. This is where I have worked with the excavator. I finished the preparation of another or a repeat of the soil dam wall. Other one got washed away a week ago. So I thought let me try again. Anyway. This one is about two and a half meters high. 
and then there's a gabion the water comes from there and spoolway over here and it can overflow this whole area here I have this plastic sheeting I will put that in the length starting on that side bringing it this way it will also fold over and I have a an indentation in the middle of this wall so the left and the right is higher this is where the water used to come through and uh, so I will have an overflow plus a spillway in plastic and uh, when the season the rainy season is over then I can remove this start planting things because it would have settled by then I really hope it helps or works hopefully in future I can have a pond over here where the excavator is now it's also close to the house I can pump some water to the garden but also just for aesthetic appreciation of the area it will be nice before I put on this plastic sheeting I want to use the laser once again it's too light now I cannot see anything but a little bit later when it's dark I just want to make sure that I have my concepts right so that I can do a proper job it's too much work to repeat this but now I'm learning I'm growing nature is nature doesn't give a hoot so I will see what I can do this is the first earthen dam wall I have built in this erosion gully it withstood the flood we had any little water is a flood in our perception right now because there was no water and I have planted some rye and they are already four centimeters high the acorn planted itself vetiver I hope this one stays I don't want to cover this with plastic as well this is where the water used to go now it goes this way this is a another small creek we have on the land it does not hold that much water but it does flow now and then and I hope to take advantage of this water as well till next time Goodbye.